Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Fro Bliss Veggies, coming to you with another Test Tuesday. And this week, you clicked on the thumbnail because we are going to be reviewing Sweet Earth's Hot Dogs. Yes, we are testing them out because I already feel it. I already feel it. I'm a summer girl and summer is approaching and we're about to start barbecuing. So let's get to all of these type of things, right? I hope y'all like it. So if this is your first time tuning in, this is how we do, okay? We take a vegan plant-based product, we taste test it, we give a star rating, and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend that money, honey? Why spend that money, honey? If you don't have to, I'll do it for you. Also, make sure to follow me on my socials. Yes, I do Meatless Monday posts. I'm considering figuring out how I can put it on my YouTube where I don't have to do all of the work with it. But, you know, we're going to get to that. But today, let's get into this review, shall we? And boom. Okay, so Sweet Earth is the brand. I did a review on another one of their products. Um, I want to say last year. It's in my Test Tuesday reviews. Make sure to check that out. Okay, I got a full playlist for all of y'all. Yes, check them out. Support them. But yeah, <laughs> this is grill ready. Um, make sure to keep it refrigerated and frozen. You know, most of our products that we get, we have to do that, okay, to keep it cute so we can eat it safely, all right? Um, and it's vegan, of course. Let's flip it around. And ingredients, the main thing we're going to get here is water, canola oil. Now, this one right here, it tripped me up on another review. So, we're just going to put that up there, a little note at the top, what that is. Because, yeah, that tripped me up on an oat milk review before. So, we ain't going to act like I really remember. Okay, you know, let's not play. <laughs> but, um, it does have pea protein, which I, you know, seeing a lot of our type of products, a little spices, and that smoke flavor. Let's see if it gives that smoke like that. Let's see. Also, it's just the best way, top way for them is the grill. I got my little George Foreman right here, okay? And if you want to, I got the little link for that on my Amazon favorites, okay? Support your girl. So you can get you one too for the indoor grilling, Uh, you know, if you like me and ain't got the big boy one yet or, you know, we, we, we share it. But you get the picture, you get the picture, okay? So let's get to the review, shall we? All right, we are back. So I'm gonna get a little closer because my air conditioning just, it's just gonna keep going. So we just gonna get a little closer. Hopefully y'all don't hear it, it ain't too loud. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I think I put a little bit on the grill just to show y'all, I'll put a little footage here, a little quick footage, just so you can see. But yeah, I mean, it's giving grill marks. I think I wanna try it on a sandwich like I would do at a barbecue and then by itself to give y'all the real. So let's taste test how it is like this. Let's like do a little, little bite. So just tasting it by itself. I do get that vinegar that I think is on the packaging, like one of the ingredients. I do taste that. I will say it is giving a lot of sodium. Like it's giving me a lot of salt. But they're trying to balance it with the sweet. But what's crazy is this actually tastes like a hot dog. It really does. It's giving that snap. It's giving that, you know, I mean, look on the inside. Doesn't that look like a hot dog? So it's giving a hot dog. It's giving that snap like you want. The texture is spot on. So if we're going straight off of like texture and the fact that like the skin, you know, some of these hot dogs you put on the grill and it's like the, the outer film is falling off. It did not do that. And I cooked it for 10 minutes on the George Foreman grill. It didn't fall off, it kept intact. I love that, it has to snap. So I would give it five stars just off of that alone. The fact that it upheld, it stayed there, it lasted on the grill. Now I wonder if it'll be a difference if it's like a char, you know, with the uh, charcoal kind of grill, like the real grills, but with my little George Foreman, baby, it did it. Um, it's just that one little thing as far as it being really salty. So that may bring it down a little bit to like a four, four between a four and a five. So maybe 4.5 is where we sit it because I just don't know about all that extra sodium, all that salt. But let's see on the sandwich. It may change it. Mm -hmm. So the more I eat it, the more the salt is given. So you probably only need about two of these before it's a little, it gets too much. But I just love that they got this right as far as the hot dog. I really wish it would have scaled it back on the salt because I probably would be like, this is my new favorite hot dog. But is it a little too salty for me? I don't know. Comment below if you've given this a try. Am I tripping? Is it too salty? Is it just for me that I'm thinking it's too salty? Comment below.
below let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl ashley of frivolous veggies where we're always cooking up fresh greens on a daily make sure to follow me on my socials for all the day-to-day -day, um weekly updates i mean you name it we got it make sure to follow and thank you guys so much for tuning in